Hello friends, I'm John Laspina, the carnivore teacher, and I'm not gonna prepare a meal for you today, but I'm going to show you how I get some of my wild-caught sockeye salmon prepped for future meals. So this is what I can sometimes find in the store, wild-caught sockeye salmon. Uh, this was caught in, can't tell. Yeah, there it is. It was caught in Seattle, Washington in the fresh water. And so um, I, it's frozen. And what I did is I thawed it out, pretty much completely thawed. It's a little still frozen. And uh, basically, here, come on over and watch. Watch me do it. I cut the package open with the scissor in the sink. Cause I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. I portion it. So I take out my sockeye salmon. There it is, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Look at that. The best part, by the way, is the skin. I just love it. I've got my baggies ready to go. I open up my baggies. Okay, prep my baggies. Kind of get them open and ready. And I put several pieces in a baggie. So here we go. So I'm gonna take my salmon and, and here's my portion. So like there's, it's real thin on this side and it's thicker on this side. So I'm gonna make, a, there's a portion. I just drop it in the sink on top of the, the plastic uh, wrapper. Here's a portion, right about that much. That's like one serving that I would add to my first meal of the day. That's two. And three. And four. Okay. And then I take my baggies. Okay, there's a portion. Then the baggie, one, two, I'll put a small three. So there's three in one bag. And put them into the refrigerator. And I will take, I'll probably do three days in a row. I'll have one, one day, one another day, one another day. Okay, the other ones are gonna stay in the freezer. So I'll put this one in this baggie and this one in this baggie. And that's for when I'm finished with those. And I don't have sockeye salmon every day. Sometimes I'll have shrimp. Sometimes I'll have sardines. Uh, sometimes I do cod liver in the cans. I kind of alternate. And some days I don't do fish at all. So that's why I, I don't want this to go bad. So I freeze some in bags and I keep some in the refrigerator. Kind of get the air out. I don't have the vacuum seal thing. And so there I go. Quick and easy. What did I pay for this? Uh, I got this at Sprouts and it was 16 bucks. And I have one, two, three, four, I have five pieces. I have five pieces of wild caught sockeye salmon. And I'm gonna probably get through these in about two weeks because I don't have them every day. And I spread them out and I keep part of them frozen and part of them refrigerated. So that's how you can get your amazing omega-3 fatty acids from this wonderful, fresh, wild caught fish. The astaxanthin in here is amazing and so healthy for us. Never buy farm raised, never buy farm raised fish at all. Okay. It's not like grass fed beef where you can get grass fed and not grass finished and it's still kind of okay. For fish, you don't ever want to eat farm raised fish. It is fed crap. The fish are fed disgusting things and they're kept in these raceways. They're not allowed to go out and eat what they normally eat and they're fed this awful grain and chicken poop. And yes, of course, the fish is much, much, much cheaper. The shrimp is cheaper. But what are you putting in your body? Okay, you wanna buy wild caught shrimp, wild caught salmon, wild caught cod. Always look for the word wild caught. And if you're buying anything in cans, you wanna get them in spring water. Let me show you. Let me wash my hands here. Let me show you my, my, uh, so while we're talking about fish, so this is my wild caught sockeye salmon. 
these are sardines that I buy. And the sardines that I buy are in water. I don't want them in any kind of soybean oil or canola oil, even olive oil, believe it or not, because you don't know if that olive oil went bad and they used really cheap olive oil. So I get it in water. And when I open the can, I actually, I drink the water because the water, you can see all the oil floating to the top. It's really delicious. And you don't want to get the kind that says skinless and boneless. You want the skin and you want the little micro bones in here. It's not like bones that you crunch on like in meat. You don't even know they're there. That's all your calcium. That skin has a lot of the omega-3s in it. So it doesn't say skinless or boneless. That's the one you want. Okay, It's not going to say it has the skin and it has the bones. It just doesn't say skinless and boneless. So this one is in water. Simple. And this is really cheap. I don't know if I paid like a dollar five for this can, right? This is what the can looks like. You know, you pull it out and it's uh, it's a can. I'm not gonna open it now. Okay, another can I get, and I bought these online, cod liver. This is packed in its own cod liver oil. And it's very high, as you can see, in omega-3 fatty acids because of the cod liver oil. And cod liver is my way of getting liver because I just don't like beef liver, calves liver. Chicken liver, I can stomach, but I don't care for it. This is good. This is like pate. This is so creamy and delicious and it doesn't taste disgusting. So try some cod liver. This is packed in its own cod liver oil. And then here's one that I have in the closet I brought out. And this is also wild caught salmon, but it's in a can and it's packed in water. Okay. It's not packed in any of the oils. Read the ingredients. And what does it say on the ingredients? You can see it on the bottom in red. Okay. The ingredients are red salmon and salt contains fish red salmon. I mean, those are the ingredients. Always read ingredients. Here's the ingredients for the cod liver. It's cod liver, salt. That's all it says on there. All right. And obviously, what are the ingredients for this? If I were to read it, it just says salmon. This is how you buy fish, ladies and gentlemen. If you're going to buy fresh fish over the counter, try to always look for wild caught everything and don't buy anything that's farm raised. And if it doesn't tell you if it's wild caught, if you can't find the answer, if it's wild caught, don't buy it. All right. Eat well so that you can look and feel well and become the optimized version of yourself. I love me some fish.